destination fees. What exactly are automakers doing with these pesky destination fees, and why have they gone up so much? Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as the Homer Guy, and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? Today's video on car manufacturers' destination fees is brought to you by the Homer Guy team, home of super high-intensity training for car buyers and our awesome group of auto experts. If you appreciate our hard work on your behalf and you want to support our efforts, well, there are plenty of ways for you to get on board with us and show a little appreciation. Start by recommending us to your friends and help boost the Homer Guy channel to that million subscriber mark. For years, the Homer Guy team has warned you about practices of car dealers and the many things they try to do to jack up prices of their cars with after-the-fact fees. Well, this time, with regard to destination fees, it's not the car dealerships that are to blame. Oh no, it's the automakers themselves, and they're completely silent on this. Imagine that. Giving no explanation for why destination fees on new cars are getting so high, we are encouraged here at the Homer Guy team, however, to know that we are far from the only ones who are noticing this. If you haven't already done so, check out this article by Consumer Reports titled Sticker Shock, The Truth About Destination Fees. Consumer Reports exposes how ballooning delivery charges may add to the cost of your new car. No kidding. For those of you wondering what a destination fee is anyway, automakers have always been very vague with their explanation of it. We would know. Not only do we see very little information on this, but you guys, our viewers, are always asking us what destination fees are. Well, let's just say that destination fees have something to do with getting all those cars, trucks, and vans that you love so much from the factories and the ports to their final destination at the car dealership. Hence the name destination fee. Beyond that, there's never been any details from automakers on what exactly the fee covers, how they determine how much to charge, and why it would rapidly inflate during a given time period. So that you understand how big a deal the rapid increase in destination fees has become, well, let me give you a little background. Destination fees have been charged by automakers for many years, and they show up right on the window sticker of the car sitting on the lot. Based on industry data sourced from Chrome Data and Consumer Reports Research, destination fees from automakers averaged $839 per car in 2011. Last year, average destination fees were almost $1,250. The greatest offender was Stellantis, formerly known as Fiat Chrysler. So, if you buy a Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, Fiat, Peugeot, Maserati, and a few others under the Stellantis roof, you're getting hit the hardest. All of those cars were actually over $1,500 now. Not to be outdone, Ford is sitting around $1,300 for destination fees, and GM, Honda, Toyota, all sitting around $1,100. All of them were between $820 and $875 just nine short years ago. Automakers can't claim that this substantial increase is simply due to inflation. Clearly, it's not, because the growth of average destination fees has outpaced inflation by two and a half times. Now, think about something else. Car dealers have been known for decades for their lack of transparency in much of what they do. Tons of tricks and distractions, very little information up front to keep car buyers clueless. No matter how much car dealers try to defend this, they've developed tons of ways to hide things and confuse you, the car buyer. And they train on confusion tactics. So, in the face of very low consumer confidence in the trustworthiness of car dealers, what have automakers done to bring transparency to this destination fee problem? Well, none. In fact, just like the car dealers themselves, the automakers have given to taking different descriptions for destination fees with phrases like inland freight and handling fees. Then, let's take a look at how the automakers are doing with communicating the existence of destination fees to car buyers, you know, so if you have any questions, well, they really suck at that too. In fact, destination fees are rarely, if ever, included in car ads or found on the automaker's websites, and instead, they hide them in the fine print. We sit here wondering if there will ever be any top-down help with cleaning up the bad reputation the retail car business has, and it looks like you can take automakers off the list of potential candidates willing to make a positive difference. So, what have automakers actually said about these bloated destination fees? Nothing. Consumer Reports Vice President of Advocacy, David Friedman, says the auto industry's relative silence on the rise of destination charges is a bit deafening. He continues, if they had a valid reason beyond just driving up the price, 
they would actually be able to point us towards specific examples of costs that have gone up within the shipping process. What Mr. Friedman said is key. If they had a valid reason beyond just driving up the price and the price of the car. You see, what we've been saying all along is that car dealers use all their fake fees simply for the purpose of driving up the price of the car after you've negotiated the price. And now automakers are doing the exact same thing with destination fees. Cheating by inflating a destination fee they tell the consumer very little about and then smacking you with it after you price out your new vehicle. For you new car buyers out there, how does that make you feel? Consumer reports say they will display all destination fees on new car model pages to help consumers, but I think I have a better idea. I mentioned that destination fees were $839 on average in 2011. Since inflation has only been 1.53% per year average since then, a cumulative total of 16.93%. Let's take the $839 fee from 2011 and multiply it by the cumulative rate of inflation using a factor of 1.17. It gives us what should be the current destination fee, an average of 982, not the 1244 it averaged last year. Depending on what car manufacturer you're looking at, you can even get more specific. Just look up their destination fees from 2011 and then multiply by the 1.17 factor I just gave you to get what their current destination fee should be. Because car buyers get caught up in emotional car buying decisions, many of you let the auto industry get away with this kind of stuff. You ignore the red flags. However, you also have a choice to be a solution. The Homework Guy team is encouraging every car buyer to do the math Subtract the difference and then make the dealers eat it. A $1,244 average destination fee from the automaker is $262 more on average than you should be paying in fees. While $262 may not seem like much because if you're buying a new car, you're already paying a ridiculously high price for these new cars. Let me tell you why you should force them to subtract it anyway. If dealers all over the country started reporting to automakers that car buyers like you are refusing to pay their bloated destination fees, well, that would be a conversation I'd love to be a fly on the wall for. Automakers would be forced to change it if enough people did this. So why not you? Car buyers who are tired of all this nonsense and force car dealers and automakers to clean up this business, well, you're the single biggest factor forcing change in the auto industry. And of course, people like us, the Homework Guy team, Help to get the word out so more people can help. If you're a new car buyer, we hope that you are willing to be a part of the solution. Subtract that 262 from your destination fee if you buy a new car. Take the time to go to our channel homepage and see all the great videos put out by the Homework Guy team and become the most savvy car buyer you can be. We've put in all the time to help you. Now you just have to put in the time to use what we've produced for you. All right, if you appreciate the video today, consider giving us that great big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, include hashtag the homework guy, and look for us on any of your favorite social media platforms. We post updates and share videos on other platforms too, and answer car buyer questions to help you out. If you love what we do and want to contribute with a tip, well, PayPal and Cash App links that you see here will be easy to find in that description box down below or on our website. Here's the best part. We don't just help car buyers. We also sponsor great people like Maggie. This amazing young lady works with university students to help them get more out of their studies and ultimately more out of their lives after school. And we definitely need more productive students out in society. We enthusiastically sponsor Maggie and she thanks you in advance. Just like the Homework Guy channel, Maggie knows you change the world by what you do. If you can't do a tip today, no problem. Just help us get the word out. You can help us get to the million subscriber mark. And by doing so, you're helping to bring fairness and honesty to the car business. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter. Until next time, take care, everyone.